Hello friends, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. So this is about CSC and versus CSC with specialization. A lot of students are interested in taking courses in CSC data science. So that is what I'm going to cover in this particular video. So what are the courses and what do you study? So I'll take an example from a college, RV College of Engineering. What do you study CSC data science there? And same will be applicable to all the VTU colleges or all the colleges in India. It has similar structure. So the program is B in computer science, uh, CSC with data science. Sometimes it is, um, sometime it is also with AIDS, artificial intelligence and data science. More, more or less it is similar syllabus, similar in structure, which is followed across all the colleges in Karnataka as well as India. So just, this is just to give you brief guideline there. So this is basically vision of CSC or CSC data science program at any college. This is from RV College of Engineering, right? So you can see most of the colleges have either 160 credits or 180 credits, right? To complete the course, right? So if you take one, uh, 160 credits, which is CSC data science with uh, RV College of Engineering. So basically 40 credits every year you have to pass approximately but it may vary a little bit here and there so let's see how the course structure is there so if you see on the top side common subject with csc so if within csc data science 42.5 percent more than 40 percent is common between csc and csc data science students it is same thing and same goes with all the specialization that 40 to 50 percent is common with the csc core so in this case 42.5 percent at uh, rv college is common which is 68 credits out of 160 you get through common subjects which you study and csc core students also study what you study differently is basically csc data science related 76 credits which is giving you 47.5 percent of uh, credits right which is 76 credits right so 68 plus 76 and other courses which is common courses which is um, like not exactly the computer courses but other uh, compulsory courses there are 16 credits or 10 percent of the course so if you see the breakup of 100 percent of the course 42.5 percent is common with csc core 47.5 percent is specific to csc data science and 10 percent is common to all the engineering branches all the colleges so if you see the year wise breakup now year 1 40 credits right so you have to you know within that year 2 to year 3 you have 28 credits then there are foundation 15 credits application development 15 credits csc data science professional electives are there with electives you can get 23 credits data science with pbl which is 23 credits so all put together 160 credits if you will get all the 160 credits you will pass the exam and you will get a degree now let's see how the you know year wise you study what do you study and how many credits are allocated so if you see first year right which is the common syllabus for computer science stream it is same first year students study the same thing which is either uh, for all the computer science 40 credits are allocated from second year onwards your branch gets um, you know diversified right so in the second year now you see common with computer science engineering with this second and third year so csc data science has common subjects with csc core in the second and third year and what are those common subjects what you share with the csc core is basically linear algebra data structures they also study you also study allied digital logic design computer organization operating systems discrete mathematics design analysis computer networks theory of computation and software engineering so you also study and they also study so you also get 28 credits csc core students also get 28 credits so you understand by now by second to third year you have got 40 plus 28 which is 68 credits which were common similar to what csc core student would have studied so up to row number one row number two it is common for csc and the csc core students there is no difference now what is the benefit of you taking csc data science if you take csc data science the third is applicable to you 
which is basically foundation course of CSC data science. Now you are studying only data science. You can see artificial intelligence and machine learning, scalable computing, information, network security, big data analytics. That will give you 15 credits, which other CSC course students may not be studying it's because they were studying only 40 plus 28 were, were common. This is additional 15, which you are getting for your course. Now let's move further. CSC data science application development course right here you study database management system IOT embedded system computing data visualization statistical machine learning for data science all those 15 credits you earn through them then there are professional electives as the name says it is elective that is multiple buckets are given from those buckets you have to choose subjects for example first bucket is intelligent computing you choose one of them either you study computer vision or natural language processing or iot okay you can choose next one is the data engineering bucket here also you can choose any of the subjects out of these five so whichever you like you can study date distributed file system or data where or no sql or blockchain you can choose any one of those those are electives and there are then the next one is the learning models so all put together 23 credits will be allotted like this in the professional electric stream so let me tell you some more professional electric streams in learning models so in learning models uh, you can choose from one of these three either you study neural network or introduction to machine learning or deep learning whichever you like then there is a business intelligence within that also three options are provided you can study any one of them whichever you like web technologies or cloud computing or business analytics next one is a interdisciplinary stream here also many options are available you can study data and application security or data science and uh, data internet security or robotics ar vr anyone but all put together for this section total number of credits are 23 only and you can select one from any every bucket now let's move to the next one which is uh, projects based learning so here also if you see 23 credits are given and the options uh, is based on the project based learning so design thinking mini and major projects so basically for the project based things you can get 23 credits and for other courses now other courses is not related with the computer science those are other courses which every college is mandating or vtu or any aict mandates that some subjects will have to take like this humanities and social science right ability enhancement courses liberal arts universal human values communicative english and canada right or uh, environmental technology and uh, bio inspired engineering so these are different options and th these are compulsory so you will have to take subjects from these options and you will earn 16 credits and this will be spread not in one single semester it will be spread across multiple semesters right so that is how your 160 credits are divided for csc data science students and after that you will get a degree so that's all thanks for watching and i'll cover for all the different courses what do you study and you can take a informed decision based on that what branches you want to take thanks for watching and please do subscribe channel to get similar updates take care and bye